As you can see behind me, I slept outside last night and I'm in the middle of the woods. I came up this gravel road out, outside of Souk. Uh, I think I'm in a logging or development area. Slept under the stars. Uh, it was pretty amazing, but I am pretty exhausted at the same time. I like to rough it and I'm gonna pay for it today. Now to the north side of the trail. Banfield, here we come. <music> Hey folks, I'm here at Pachina Bay Campground, finally relaxing, enjoying the beach. This place is unreal. Anyway, after a sketchy night sleeping on the logging road last night in the woods, I got the bus here, uh, 9.15, three hour bus ride. Met a ton of people that are hiking the trail, very nice group. Became the popular guy in the bus for doing this in a day. Um, and uh, yeah, now I'm just relaxing, stretching, eating as much as I can so that I have the energy to make it through tomorrow. And I am nonstop thinking about what the hell have I got myself into? But I, um, I'm doing this for two reasons. One, I've never done the West Coast Trail and I've heard great things. And two, I think I can make it. I've been running lots. Uh, I like challenging myself. I want to share this story with my kids and I think I can make it. Next time I do this trail, I'll probably be doing it with them when they're a little older. Anyway, one more look at this beautiful, beautiful view. Pagina Bay, this place is beautiful. It's 8 p.m. Had my dinner, had my beers. Time to go to bed, get ready for the run. I'm definitely coming back here with the boys, the wife, the kids, the dogs, the whole family. This place is amazing. Hi folks, it's 5.15 a.m., the big day of the run. I've uh, grabbed all my stuff from the campsite, which is over there. Packed it all up and I'm leaving it right here. Hopefully the bus takes it back. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. And um, I gotta take off my last layer and get ready with this run. The goal is to make the first ferry at 9.30 at the Nitnat Crossing and not to get eaten by a cougar or bear. Anyway, let's do this. Hey folks, I'm about an hour and 40 minutes deep, about 13 and a half K in, 14 K. I've already passed the first site from the north uh, end of the trail. Some campers route me on. I think there's another one coming up here. It is an incredibly beautiful. It's gorgeous out here. Only problem is these loose rocks are hard to run on. And I've got about 60 more K or so left to go. Anyway, I'll give you another update soon. It's not all easy running. going from boulder to boulder and right now it is two hours and 45 minutes deep about 21 and a half K legs are feeling already tired but good news is I only have 
what, about 50K left to go? More? <laughs> Love this scenery. Still racing to catch the first ferry at 9.30 a.m. The gap is closing. I have about 10K to go, meaning that I'm 21, 22K into this. And there's a bear. Holy jeez. So the bear just keeps eyeing me down. I don't think you can see him in here. Uh, there, there he is, right over there. Black bear. Doesn't seem to be charging at me, so I think I'm safe. Now I should be taking that little cable car thing, but shoes off, tide is low. We're crossing the water. Oh, that's so cold. Oh, it feels so good though. Oh yeah. Jeez. Doesn't look like much, but wow, there's a tide. <laughs> that water is clear. It looks like it's a foot deep and it's waist deep. Oh, that is cold. Anyway, on to the next. I finally made it Knit Net Narrows. Um, four and a half hours deep. It is 9.55 a.m. I should have woke up 25 minutes earlier. Uh, it was harder than expected. And I'm at the uh, Knit Net Narrows Crossing. The boat is right around that corner. I'm waiting for him to pick me up. My legs are already shot. <laughs> what is it, 32K deep, 43 more to go. Ooh, it's beautiful here though. There's, I don't know if you can see, no you can't see them. A little, uh, little fish in the water too. Anyway, more to come. <laughs> Getting that narrows crossing. 43k more to go. This is unbelievable. All right, I'm five and a half hours deep. It's 11 a.m. Gone about 39k. But look at this. This trail's amazing. The outdoor hiker culture is unreal. So supportive. Everybody's chatting it up. Everyone says hello. I have to come back for the camera. Getting some video beauty here. It's Monica's Cafe, is that what this is? Hello. Or what's the name of it? This is Jocelyn, everyone. Say hello, Jocelyn. Hello. <laughs> I'm seven hours deep and I made it to what's Monica's Cafe, I think. Uh, got myself a lovely beer. And an apple and a friend. <laughs> anyway, I, um, I'm gonna crush this beer and make it to the end. Say bye, Jocelyn. Bye, Jocelyn. <laughs> well, you're talking to I made it to the 46k mark, uh, Carmana Creek. As you can see behind me, it's got the little uh, cable cars again. Uh, but luckily, low tide, I get to miss it. I feel like I'm losing my West Coast Trail experience by dodging both of these things, but my whole body hurts and I'm going to take the path of least resistance. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I'm seven hours, 45 minutes deep. It is one, just past one o'clock, uh, 46, 46k mark on the map, 
my watch shows 49 and a half. Either I'm stumbling back and forth or there's a slight differential there. Um, anyway, I still have a long ways to go. Wish me luck. I sure picked a great day for this. Well, folks, hate to say it, it's time to pop a few blisters in my feet. Just burning off the ash and dirt from last night's steak, steak cleaning. <laughs> What I didn't tell you is last night, I, uh, I the, the epic steak I was cooking on the fire on the beach was fantastic. The first one fell in the fire. I reached into it to save my skewer and save my steak. And I also uh, burnt my hand and dropped it in the dirt after it fell into the fire. So both sides got pummeled. Um, I was cleaning it off with my bare hands and it was disgusting. Oh. Oh. It's 2.45 p.m. I've been at this for about nine hours. Um, my watch has zonked out on me. It ran out of battery. Uh, I'm at Walbrand Creek, which because of low tide, I don't have to cross the cable car again. I jumped in because I'm exhausted. Everything hurts. And I feel that uh, a little wake me up is well, well needed right now. I have about 20K left to go. Uh, this is, I think, my last, last little beach period, and then I'm going inland, and I hear it gets tougher. So, anyway, stay tuned. Woo! <laughs> me and I made it I survived that was turned from more of a run to a survival uh, challenge uh, my f watch went out around the 55k mark in total it was about 80k for me because I was 5k ahead of the pace that they had markings on probably from dancing around from beach to trail and dodging black bears and whatnot um, anyway I I can't believe I I finished it I had to finish it it was about 15 hours in total. I had to swim across the Gordon River at the end. I was exhausted. I crashed hard last night. And right now it's about 8.30 in the morning and I'm making myself some breakfast. I don't know who you freaks are that do that trail in 12 hours on the YouTube videos, but don't try this. This is the hardest thing I've ever done. My body hurts everywhere. My legs are sore. My left knee just, I think I did some damage there. My feet are destroyed, have blisters all over them. Hardest thing I've ever done by far. I was pushing through pain for the last four hours for sure. But it's over and I did it and I will never do that again. Anyway, I appreciate you watching the journey. I hope you enjoyed it. I just want to do one last video kind of summing up some things that I may have missed before. So here it goes. I missed the last 20k of footage, uh, 20 kilometers, the south point of the trail. I apologize for that. It was agony. I just didn't have any battery life left. It was painful, four hours of pain, specifically the last hour, just because I was, you know, 75, 80k deep by then, and it was just moving slow. Uh, two, you saw footage of me running on the beach. That is not the whole trail. That is just a small fraction of it. I'd say you're running at most half the trail. The other, the train's just too rugged to run the whole thing. Um, so don't expect it to be a leisurely 80k. It is, it is rugged terrain. Um, and, uh, you know, three, uh, I don't want to encourage anyone to do this. This was the hardest thing I've done. I barely made it. And if you do do it, you're a super freak. Don't do it because of this video. Do the trail leisurely first. So you know what I'm talking about and train your ass off for it. If you decide to do it in a day and most importantly, have some support on the South end to get across that final river, Gordon river. I swam it. I don't recommend that for anybody. So make sure you have someone to get you across there. Uh, some things I do differently. I pack too much weight. 
I had about 2,500 to 3,000 calories on me. My pack was 15 pounds. I went through half of that food. I had two and a half liters of water, which was perfect, but the food, I just had too much weight. I had an extra charger too, it just didn't even work. I just had extra weight. That was a lot of weight to carry across that much distance. So pack wisely, and, um, and three, train your ass off on rugged train roots like don't just run flats like this is more body abuse than cardio so if you do do something nuts like this make sure you're logging serious hours to wear and tear on your body because that's all it really is is wear and tear anyway i have people watch me doing a video in my car that's it for me folks i'm done hope you enjoyed the journey cheers